Hello everyone and welcome back to another Code and Chat with Zach. Uh, today we're going to go over the basic packet tracer operations, specifically the Cisco Packet Tracer Student. Um, this is version 6.2. So when you're getting started, um, you will have different assignments, different projects, and some of the things are just not explained on how to make use of this. So let's go ahead and get started and learn some basics. Okay, so this is the Packet Tracer student, and it has the standard um, menu, pull down menus, new, open, save, save as a PKZ, um, edit, copy, paste. These are kind of standard. The one that you really want to pay attention to, however, is under options and preferences. Okay, so first let's drag in, uh, let's close this real quick and just drag in a router and let's look at this one right here, preferences. Okay, so notice that we have the router, it lists the model number 1841 and this is router 0 um, based on the order that you drag them out. So there are some things that you need to pay attention to. Notice the show device model. So if you get rid of that label, the model number disappears. Here is the name. Notice it disappears. So sometimes you will want those either showing or removed depending on your assignment. Also another popular one is port labels. And you can turn that on and off. And here in a minute we'll come back and look at some of these others. But I wanted to show you that because this is one of the first things that you need to be aware of. The preferences under the options. Okay, let's go ahead and look down here. So these are your types of products, if you will. So for instance, here, if you click this, these are all your different routers that come standard. The next one is switches, hubs, wireless devices, um, and everything from a cell tower to the wireless router. Here are your connections. And notice that down at the bottom of the screen it shows you what each one is. In devices, this would be your generic desktop or laptop. Uh, IP phone, smart device, things like that. Here's your security. Here's your WAN emulation, which deals with the, uh, the cloud, the DSL modem or cable modem. Custom made devices. And these are the custom made that you have created through the process of using Packet Tracer. And then you have this multi user, which works like a cloud, internet cloud. Okay. So to get one of those, you simply grab it and drag it. Now you do have to grab each time. So if you wanted three, you have to grab three. End devices. Now one thing that's interesting, you can drag right from here and it will give you the first one in the list. However, if you wanted a laptop or something different, you do need to come over here and grab them. The next one you'll use an awful lot is switches. They work the same way. You can grab the, the first one on the list, or you can grab any of the different models from here. Connections you'll use a lot. The ones you'll use most often are the cable straight through, the copper crossover, this automatically choose connection type, which does that for you, and your serial DCE and your DTE. Now, if you want to rearrange these, you can either right click, or excuse me, left click, and drag it around, or you can highlight a whole section and move them around, either as a group or individually. So this allows you um, quite a bit of freedom in setting up your plan. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of these real fast. Now, that's working with this button right here, this box with the arrow in it. it. gives you that. So when you have something drug out, you have that option. 
Okay, this red X obviously stands for delete. Now notice when you click it will ask, do you want to delete the selected item? Notice this is the selected item. If I click yes, it's gone. Now, if I have two of them, and I click one, and I hit yes, it'll disappear. Now, if I want to disconnect, let's go ahead and bring out another one. Let's connect these up real quick. And I'll show you how to do this again in a moment. So, let's say that I want to get rid of this connection. I can do that by clicking here. If it asks me do I want to delete, I say no, and then I can click right on the connection. Magnifying glass works to give you specific information. Here, routing tables, IPv6, ARP tables, etc. Now, this is your drawing shapes. Polygon. So if you want to draw a polygon, you can do just that. You can choose to the color to fill it. You can add multiple shapes. Those are available right here, even a single line. And those options are available to you. Now notice it says no fill. Actually, first let's delete these real quick. Oops. There we go. Sometimes it get kind of hard. You got to get right on the edge. Let's go up here. Grab that and delete. Yes. Okay, so let's say that you want to use a layout. So let's go ahead and pick a fill color and we'll just make this one blue. And that'll work. So we can set one here. Maybe you want a different color to denote a different network or maybe a different v VLAN or something of the sort. So you have those options. You can also do the circles the same way. Select a different fill color, just come to the chart, and you have those options. So you can be rather creative or as simple as you need to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of those real fast. Okay, great. Now, this deals with window expansion. You won't use that too much unless you're stretching a box. These two right here are the work as a ping in your network. If you're going to use the DOS command ping, that would be this simple PDU. This one requires a little bit more, and we'll get into that in a later video. All right, so next, let's look at this. This is for your labels. And you click the notepad, put you a space, and put in your IP number for instance slash 24 maybe. Alright great so you've typed that in and you're happy with it and then you look at it and you say wait a minute that's not very organized so you do have this magnifying glass of the top and notice the R in the middle. So click that one time now when you click this and you hold the left button it turns it red and allows you to move it around if you double click it, it opens it up and allows you to edit inside. This is very important, especially as you're setting up your networks and you're uh, needing to adjust for space or adding new networks, um, new IPs, different things like that, just new data. So that's a very important one, and that's the R. Hold it and it turns red. Hold the left mouse button down and drag it around. Double click it to get in. Of course, these are undos and forward, <coughs> back and forth. Um, these buttons we will get into as we go along. Uh, you will not be using them on a typical standard uh, network, uh, but you can get into some really advanced stuff using these additional ports. One thing to remember, always save. And of course, if you save, that gives you the option to save as a PKT file, which is the standard. And unless you're saving with the testing student features, uh, you'll always use a PKT file. 
All right, I hope this was beneficial. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments. And as always, if you like, please subscribe and share this video. Thank you and keep coding.